Hey, hello there, I'm Forge Tech, and this is the Alien Technology Bundle. And I'm going to start over here with this door. Now, this is the Alien Sliding Door. It is just like other sliding doors, the fact that it does not snap, unfortunately. And while it does look great on the inside, you know, I did not perfectly match it up. I could spend another 10 minutes, but I think we all know that we can make it that way but as you can see it lines up perfectly with the original wallpaper design i don't know why these two weren't released at the same time i think this should just be a standard issue they could have just put this as a doorway in it but that said it's got a lot of nice details i mean the fact that it doesn't snap and everything like that that's my only real issue with it as for detail work, I mean, look at all the little details in it. You got crack paint, rust. Uh, I mean, it's just a lot of small things. Then when you open it, it's got this fantastic hissing noise and beautiful smoke style, like, you know, and it, it really did a good job at it. I just wish mechanically they would make it snap and slightly thinner because it's a little bit too thick. Um, I mean, it's just a little, I mean, now this can work in your favor by just moving it a little bit back, but if they just made it simply snap and then walk into place, it would be much easier. Now for the biggest one is definitely the fusion core skin. I mean, this is definitely the MVP of this set. If you're only going to get one piece out of it, get this one. It has this brilliant little, like, vacuum funnel, like it's sucking, you know, energy out of another dimension to power itself. I mean, it, it even has this little, little, like, see how it, little bubbles that come out of it, and such a nice little design work to it. And all the little details, I mean, you got these little, I have no clue, like, energy lines, I guess, is what they'd be. I mean, it definitely looks like either future tech or alien technology. I think this is the best piece out of all of the bundles. Um, and it even has this little smoke and fog coming out of it. It's just like, there's always just something happening. I mean, I, I didn't even notice this little part where it does these little things until <laughs> probably 30 minutes of staring at it and doing different things. Um... So like I said, it's a great piece, a lot of little accents. Compared to each of the standard generator, it's significantly smaller. Now, it's a little bit taller up here, which has caused me now, have to remove the roof before I slid it into place. It's not quite a one by one. It's about 5% too big. Now I didn't try the rug trick and everything like that. I'm just going off of the most basic version it won't fit in a one by one room but only just barely you might be able to wiggle it to kind of get it in but standard way didn't fit but I think it looks brilliant I think it has that nice flair to it but at the same time it can work with any sets I mean you could see this as Enclave Brother of Steel some sort of high tech group I mean it, it really just it looks really nice. Then we got up here the alien conference table. It is the same style as the old one from the other set. It it's definitely a different design, a diff more unique design. Um, kind of looks like a pokeball in the middle, but you know, uh, it has the nice same semi like stainless steel slash rusty kind of style to it. Worn, beat up. You can see all the little detail work. You know, it is a nice stainless steel table. Um, this is the Alien Crate. Really good texture pack. Unfortunately, it's not a stash box. It's just a box. It's like a giant Minecraft block, which I, you know, didn't find very alien. It's just a block with, you know, glowing lines. But I did realize after a few minutes that... It is the perfect size 
for these turret bases. And fortunately, apparently it does not have a shadow, even though you see my horribly pixelated shadows. Um, but it's the perfect size to put these turrets just a little bit over it. If you're ever a person that gets a little annoyed at that, you know, these might be the perfect things for you. And with that, I have one more little experiment for these. I put them in some of the more normal style. I see these quite often prefabs and as you can see it fits perfectly i'm not trying to say it works aesthetically but size wise it worked fine you sometimes just want to jam a reactor into it and be done with it now this I, I could see myself spending you know 20 minutes and getting this thing to fit perfectly fine aesthetically inside the brother steel one it works perfectly size wise sometimes these Reactor skins and other things go a little bit wonky indoors. That's why I wanted to test it. And with that, I hope this answers some questions and makes you sit there and look at these in a different way. And with that, I hope you have a good week.